So lately there have been tons of rumors and speculation about more DLC for Battlefield 4's future. The premium calendar has been extended to December of next year, which is also a huge hint that more DLC is on its way. So I thought I would spend a couple minutes today talking about this topic so you guys have all the information in one place. First off, David Serland, one of the producers at DICE LA, has been hinting at something big coming at the end of Battlefest. Now Battlefest ends on December 9th according to the official post on Battlelog, so by the time you're watching this video that will be about 6 days away. Now something to also keep in mind is the fact that December 9th is a Tuesday and DLC always comes out on Tuesdays, so nothing has been confirmed 100% but we definitely know that Battlefield 4's game cycle isn't coming to a close just yet. Now the next thing I wanted to cover in this video would be the most recent details that we have about more DLC for Battlefield 4. Now Battlefield Daily on Twitter sent this tweet out about more expansions about a week before Final Stand was released. Now he goes on about a reliable source telling him that an additional 2-3 to three small expansion packs are currently planned for Battlefield 4. So a massive thank you goes out to him for tweeting that out. And as always I will link his Twitter in the description if you want to go follow him. Now of course, this immediately made me think of mini DLC for the game. If you think about it, it makes a whole lot of sense. DICE can develop smaller DLCs in less time than the full 4 map DLCs that include weapons and gadgets too. So if this rumor is believed to be true, and I'm hoping it is, we should see 2-3 to three mini DLC expansion packs that will include about half of what we would normally see in a full fleshed expansion pack for a Battlefield title. Now I've thought about this for a little while now and I've written down some ideas for what maps DICE could include in these DLCs. First off, Grand Bazaar from Battlefield 3 is a must have for me. It's one of my all time favorite maps from any Battlefield game and another map I want to see return is Sane Crossing. It's a really good map for Rush and I just really love the urban combat vibe that you get on this map. So with Frostbite 3's graphical advantages over Frostbite 2, I'm sure a lot of these remade maps are going to look about 10 times better than the originals. Now as for my final map, I had a tough time choosing between Noshar Canals and Damavan Peak, so I'll just throw them both in there for the hell of it. Now Noshar Canals is pretty much loved by every Battlefield 3 player out there, so DICE will kind of be forced to bring it back. And as for Damavan Peak, this map was pretty damn cool for Rush. When you get past the second set of MCOMs, you got the chance to jump off the huge mountain cliff military base. And let me tell you, the first time you did it, it was just truly breathtaking, one of those only in Battlefield moments I've experienced. So those are my choices for maps that I think should return to Battlefield 4 from previous games. Be sure to let me know down in the comments section what maps you want to see in Battlefield 4 for the future DLC. Moving on to weapons, a good friend of mine that goes by the name of Glassy made a really awesome video talking about the M95 sniper rifle returning to Battlefield 4. Now I never really got into Bad Company 2 too much myself, but he does make some really good points in his video, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video. And as for some weapons I do know a little bit more about, I'd really love to see the AN94 assault rifle make a return. Now this thing was extremely deadly when you switched it to burst fire mode. This thing went from 600 RPM to 1200 when in burst, so you could fire it pretty damn fast. Anyway, I think that is about it for the Battlefield news at the moment. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with the future of Battlefield 4 when Battlefest ends and David Serlin reveals the big secret they're hiding. Until then, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.